James Bay. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this Prime Minister promised to clean up Ottawa and he gave us Mike Duffy. Now, did you see the footage of him running out of that kitchen last night in Halifax? It's yeah. like Senator Come From Away is on the lamb. And it's because the people of Good Cavendish, good people of Cavendish are saying, what does Anna Green Gables and Mike Duff and uh, Mike Duffy have in common? They're both fictional residents of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> expected to maintain residences in the region that they represent as well as here in the national capital region so they can do their work here. Uh, the Senate has rules that cover that. Those are currently being reviewed and they're also reviewing to make sure that all Senators do in fact adhere to those rules as we expect they will. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Mr. Speaker, the question is when did ripping off the taxpayer become part of the job description of the Conservative Senate? Now let's look at this question of the very unsavory story of Mr. Patrick Brazo. We've had allegations of tax fraud on top of earlier reports of him ripping us off for a housing allowance. Kicking him out of the caucus isn't good enough. The Prime Minister appointed him to the Senate for the next 35 years, which means taxpayers are on the hook for over $7 million. So when is the Conservative government going to take responsibility for Mr. Brazo? kick him out of the Senate and get every taxpayer's dime back. Period. Simple question. Senator Brazo, the reports today are, of course, a, a serious matter related to a domestic incident, and uh, this will be dealt with by authorities through the appropriate process. As for his role here, in light of the uh, serious nature of the uh, events, uh, action has been taken and he has been removed from the caucus.